Hi everyone, let's talk about the Snowdonia Master Set. So I already did a playthrough for base Snowdonia when this was on Kickstarter actually. And so you can hear my thoughts on the game itself over there. I did a new playthrough because again, this was voted for like the original one was. This was voted for to see a new scenario and see the solo mode in it. So if you didn't know, this was on Kickstarter for basically Snowdonia has a ton of Various promos, expansions, little ideas that designer Tony Boydell has had on his blog over the years that the game has been out. And through, you know, various publishers and, you know, promos and, you know, availability issues, some things are fairly hard to get hold of, especially, you know, that given that there's been so many of them, so many different trains, you know, just having an idea for a train and putting it up on his blog, like I mentioned, you know, or you just have to print these things off yourself. So this is a way of getting, for a start, everything all together in one big box, everything that had been made up uh, for Snowdonia, and you know, upgrading everything for it, giving everything you know a, a premium wooden token. That so uh, all if you watch the playthrough, all of your surveyors and laborers are custom painted minis all of the custom pieces for the scenario. So for a start, it's, it's all got game trays in the box. I won't get that whole thing out because there is a lot to have here. Eagle-eyed viewers might notice that this is just the sleeve for the box, so I don't have to tilt it sideways. Uh, that's, that's something to bear in mind if that's a deal breaker for you. I don't know if it would be. But uh, you can see that all of the scenario things here, I don't want to tip it too much. You know, there's dynamite, there's sunflowers, there's oxygen tanks, there's an abominable snowman. All of these things have their own custom wooden pieces, and this is just one of the trays. You probably see the other one in the playthrough. So that's that's one of the things that's, you know, everything has got this, you know, premium feel to it. It's got, everything has been custom made for it. You aren't just substituting pieces or cards in there, everything is so well organized and I think so beautifully done. Like you'll see in my original first impressions if you haven't seen it that I absolutely love Snowdonia. It's one of my favorites and a huge plus for it is the sheer number of, ex the sheer amount of extra content for it. I was gonna say expansions and I decided to say extra content so my grammar was wrong. Uh, but yeah, it's got an enormous amount for it and I had probably, you know, four or five things in my original Snowdonia, just things that I happen to have come across over the years. But the this has got, this is the scenario book from the game. So not the rule book, and it's so well organized by the way. The, the, the main rule book is like, this is how to uh, start out if you are new to Snowdonia. This is the rules for the base game and the basic solo mode. So do all of this first, and then once you're used to that, start experimenting with the stuff that is elsewhere in the box. There is a, an amazing guide on Board Game Geek, I believe, or maybe it's Board and Dice's website, that tells you how to organize all of this stuff, how to unpack it all, all of the various decks of cards that come sealed. It tells you, you know, get these ones first, put these here. It's really, really well done, especially with games like this when you get a huge box full of stuff and you're kind of like, I don't really know what to do with it. Hopefully someone's uploaded some pictures to Board Game Geek and I have to kind of figure it out for myself where things go. Yeah, I really love, uh, <laughs> I, I love organizing things, but I love where I'm being told to organize them as well. So this is the scenario book. It's quite a, th a thick scenario book here. It's, it's 76 pages that are going to take you through 17 different expansions for the game, different scenarios that change the game up. So if you've seen the playthrough here, we had the Y Valley Torah. That is one of the five new scenarios for the master set. And then after that, it's got a load of mini expansions here and the solitaire mode. I don't know if the camera is picking all of that stuff up, but it's got, you know, the abominable snowman, the card 31, the seasons, the castle that you can have in there. There are sheds. Every man needs a shed. Uh, there are wagons. There is the, you know, the longest named station in Wales that's... <laughs> wouldn't even attempt to pronounce. It ends in Gugugugoch, -gu 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 right? No, that wasn't even close. Mystery Train, the North Pole, so many extra things. And then it's got a solo mode designed by David Tootsie with uh, Nick Shaw. They worked on Welcome to Dino World together and loads of solo variants for things. David's done Zolkin. <sighs> it's all leaving my head right now. He's a very accomplished designer in his own right as well. He's done Anachrony and all sorts of things. Nights of Fire, Days of Ire. He only makes games that rhyme. Uh, yeah, he has worked out, well, 
he and Nick have worked out a solo variant for this that you know, the, the original solo variant was quite basic for Snowdonia that it's kind of the you know, beat your own score, play the game against yourself kind of thing. But this tries to, as all of David's solo variants do, tries to emulate an opponent as best it can, something that you need to think about, something you need to play against, and something that you have a little bit of information to give you a bit of advantage to kind of balance out the fact that, you know, the AI opponents tend to cheat. They tend to get a lot of stuff for free and get to bend the rules a little bit. But I love that that is present in Snowdonia as well, because I definitely say that while Rachel definitely enjoys Snowdonia and likes it a lot, she doesn't like it to the point, to the degree that I do. So it's really good that not only is there that option in there now, but also it works with you know, a, a few of the scenarios, I believe, that it's, you know, if, if the scenario has some particular rules, then there are rules in Botdel for how it works with those scenarios, what little tweaks to its flowcharts and things you need to do. And when I say flowcharts don't be put off like it's some really complicated thing, it's like a lot of these solar variants, it's got a little bit of a hurdle to get you used to how things work, but once once it all clicks, it's very smooth sailing. So yeah, it's, I'm not sure if this is going to be available in retail anywhere. I, I would assume there was extra ones. Tony Boydell, if you are watching this at the time of filming, has been uh, has had copies to sell. Uh, Surprise Stair Games have had some. So yeah, I can't really help you with where it's going to be available at the time you watch this video. But if you are a fan of Snowdonia that, and you don't have all of the expansions, I can't say if it's worth the upgrade for you if you already have everything already. But yeah, if, if you really love Snowdonia and you would like it all packaged in a premium fashion and just know that you have all of this stuff at your fingertips, then yeah, the Master Set, I'm so happy that, uh, that I backed the Master Set and that I've got it now. But hey, the playthrough is there. I can tell you about one of the scenarios. <laughs> I'd need to do like 17 playthroughs really to give you a proper idea of all of it. But hey, there's, there's barely enough time for one. Anyway. I feel that my voice is running out yet again. That seems to be happening a lot these days. Uh, so I'm going to stop there and film another playthrough. That's probably why I don't have any voice. More and more playthroughs. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you for the next game, everyone. Bye.